What? 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 What's going on, guys? Big VP back. One of the game case arcades video. What's going on, guys? Big VP back. One of the game case arcades video. On this one today, we're gonna be checking out the mid-size, twenty-seven inch arcade cabinet with a riser. This might sound like weird to some people, but like my garage right now is packed. Uh, it's like arcade heaven over here. So I got four cabinets like going on. I'll go slow. I don't want to get you dizzy, but like my garage is packed. Um, that one's going to be a big one that's coming up later on. A mega touch I scored. I'm really excited for that one. But right now my garage is full of 27 inch monitors, arcade cabinets. I do have two micro center 27 inch arcade cabinets that customers wanted. And I do have the game room solutions mid size. 27 inch arcade cabinet so it's kind of a coincidence that i have three 27 inch arcade cabinet builds and it all happened like within like the same like week which is pretty pretty crazy so again on this one today we're gonna to be talking about the game room solutions 27 inch cabinet again ever since they announced this like this mid-size series i mean they had it for about six months i don't really see many videos or even like user pictures of this cabinet so I'm pretty excited to kind of show that off. Just a quick last note, and it is kind of cool because I will be able to put side by side the Micro Center 27 inch cabinet. Um, you know, 27 inch is like an, I, to me, it's a weird number for an arcade cabinet. I definitely do like the Micro Center cabinet. I will be giving my input on the Game Room Solutions cabinet, but if you are in New York, I scored the last two Atari sale cabinets. So, if you were looking at it, I went to Brooklyn and I went to Flushing. I scored the last two. Um, again, I'm on OfferUp, I'm on Facebook. I had two customers message me like literally within like the same hour, they wanted the Atari cabinet. So that's gonna be a separate video. On this one, we're gonna be focusing on the Game Room Solutions cabinet. Quick backstory to this one. So this is going out to Sal over at Magic Moments in New Jersey. They're the guys that did our wedding. They did an amazing job. I gifted them a bar top just because, you know, I really liked how they work. They work just like me, like their main focus was to make sure that I was 100% happy. My wife was happy. Everybody was happy. My family's still raving about my wedding and honestly, they're a big part of the wedding. So what's crazy about this is that I gave them a bar top as a gift. And when I gave them the bar top, I put the Raspberry Pi build in it. And they just had it in their shop. It was really meant for the guys to play with. Um, Sal messaged me maybe once after like four months of having it, he said, hey Vic, I can't get the system to boot up. I don't know what happened. Basically the Raspberry Pi wasn't shut down properly. I got married two years ago. So two years later, Sal hits me up. Actually his wife hits me up. They're in like the car together. And they're like, hey Vic, we have a, a, a shore house. We're making a game room. We need an arcade cabinet. And we basically came to the conclusion on a 27 inch arcade cabinet. This is really for his daughter. She's been contacting me. We've been going back and forth of the theming. Her job was to figure out the theming. She's the one that picked everything. I believe it's a gift. So this right here is the Jersey Shore 27 inch midsize arcade cabinet. Now to alleviate the stress and the big thing once they mentioned that they want another arcade cabinet, Sal kind of hinted to me. He's like, hey Vic, can you give me something a little bit easier, a much simpler system instead of the Raspberry Pi, and I automatically jump to the Pandora's box. So again, a little bit less games on the Pandora's box, but it is much, much user friendly. So again, Magic Moments, 27 inch RK cabinet from Game Room Solutions with the riser running a Pandora's box 18S Pro. Let's get out of selfie mode. You don't like selfie mode. Let's say a quick look, closer look, I should say. I am half awake, it is 2.30 in the morning. Let's take a closer look at this cabinet. All right, so let's start with the basics. Obviously, we're going to start with the artwork. Um, we were going back and forth. They first mentioned Jersey Shore themed arcade cabinet, and I thought they meant the TV show. Uh, so we were going back and forth laughing because they weren't. They didn't mean the TV show. They actually meant the Jersey Shore. They do uh, have their their beach house is in the Jersey Shore, but they are fans of boardwalks and the whole you know theming, the landmarks and stuff. So there's really five boardwalks, I believe I did. We do have like Seaside Heights. You can see on the left side, greetings from. We got the Jersey Shore. There's also like Casino Pier, um, Breakwater Beach. There's a, a lot of stuff. Basically, uh, the daughter sent me a couple of boardwalk images. It started out with like three of them, but then I was like, oh man, we're gonna really photobomb this uh, cabinet. So I'm pretty happy with the way I did it. I'm never really a fan of like 
Shutterstock pictures or like, you know, I never really did a cabinet like this, um, but I'm tapping myself on the back because I think the artwork came out pretty clean. A lot of blending, a lot of pictures. I mean, on this side alone, you're looking at at least about nine pictures. And uh, I think I blended it very well using opacity tool and the eraser tool. You can kind of see, you know, you got the big drop blends in with the sky. I think I did a really good job. This was the only one I do know, like you could see the coloration is not the same, um, but that was the only clear picture of Casino Pier Ferris wheel. But again, just kind of taking a quick look, you could see how like the roller coaster came in. I put in like the I Love New Jersey, Seaside Heights logo, we got the boardwalk. Again, we're gonna first look at the cabinet and then we'll talk about the riser. In the front, pretty simple. I, I love this, I, I thought of this, the Jersey Shore, almost like the whole like street plate. She did want this beach kind of thing. This is one single picture because the kick plate honestly was a little tough, but it looks good. Uh, the only thing about these kind of pictures, like if you really look, go carefully, you do get pixelation because it is blown up, but it's not too bad. Marquee is pretty awesome. This is a greeting card, um, like a postcard. And uh, basically, if I stretched it, it would have been ugly. I basically kept it centered and then I copied the edges to blend out. And again, I'm pretty proud of myself on this because you can see it is a clean blend. Like you can't even tell what part I copied and stitched and stretched. So again, I'm pretty proud of that. Control panel is awesome. Basically, we do have like the way I did the theming was that it's like daytime. And then the right side is nighttime. Let me not go to the control panel. Let's get the right side real quick. So nighttime, boardwalk at the night. Uh, we can see here Jersey Shore at night, Casino Pier. Basically, I try, anytime with artwork, I try to mimic it. So as you can see, like we have Ferris wheel dark here, nighttime, and then Ferris wheel daytime here. That's how I always try to build. You can see here we have the swings here on the top and the swings here. So that's just me. And my OCD, I like to make sure it copies over, just like what I did with Big T's um, cabinet with the Marvel vs. Capcom style where the characters matched each side. Um, as far as the actual control panel, it's pretty cool. You can actually see the whole merging. We do have daytime here for player one, nighttime player two. You got a couple of nice logos. Again, they were big fans of postcard, kind of greeting card style stuff. So I took this from a postcard. And again, you could see basically opacity, erasings, blendings. Again, I'm pretty pretty proud of, of how I did it. Um, not to toot my own horn, but I think it's awesome. Same thing with the bezel, monitor bezel. You do have daytime into nighttime. Again, I think it's just so clean. I'm so proud of myself on this. And again, with the 27 inch, you do get the riser. Um, pretty big, it is a pretty big riser, but that riser right there, I didn't want to add more pictures. It would have been way, way ugly. So I kept their postcard themes. Took actual postcards, blew it up. Greetings from Seaside Heights. We got greetings from the Jersey Shore. Basically, this is the same exact one as the marquee. Definitely keeps it clean. And then the right side was another beach, um, which is this Ortley Beach. I probably pronounced it wrong. But postcard theming on the riser and then boardwalk theming on the actual cabinet. Again, pretty cool. Very like awesome, very detailed. I mean, it took me about a week just to make the artwork for it and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. So now on this cabinet, we do have the chrome trim molding. So once I do deliver it, they will be able to peel this off. I wanna keep this protected at all costs because basically I'm gonna drop it off to them in their shop in Jersey and then they're gonna take it to the Jersey Shore with them, which is honestly another reason why they picked this cabinet. Um, it wasn't one big solid piece of wood. This does divide into two, it makes it a little bit more friendlier as far as transportation wise. Now again, the big thing with this whole midsize series is this half inch MDF that they're using. Um, I wish, I honestly wish they would take this, same thing with the midsize Nintendo vertical side, and I wish they would just make this three quarter inch. It's it's a great cabinet. I mean, I do like it. It's it's pretty wide. It is pretty roomy. I definitely do like the whole like control panel here. is very smooth, kind of like what Arcade One Up was trying to do with the Legacy Cab. This is awesome. Like I was shocked that I actually do like this whole like edgeless kind of design. So it's pretty cool. That's Baby Ava in the background. But again, my only my only complaint is is the half inch. 
you know, half inch is it's half inch. Um, yes, it'll hold up, um, but I just wish it was three quarters. Now I did notice that when I did download the artwork on this, you could actually see how many downloads people bought on this or how many downloads somebody downloaded. There was only 30 downloads on this cabinet. So in my eyes, maybe they only built so far 30 of these. Making it, assembling it was not a pain. The only thing was that there was one like cam lock that didn't line up properly. So I didn't even bother putting it. There was like a, there's like a, a, a flat piece there. And again, you could see like, it's good. This is like the, the, that black um, hinge holder. It's actually in there tight, damn. There we go. <laughs> so you can see like, if I go back here, there's this like, it's a little piece of MDF, I guess, to make sure it hides the, the glow. But you could see my cam lock, I couldn't catch it. It wouldn't fit um, because if I did put it, you can actually see it here. If I did put it, the plexi wasn't going to fit. Like it, it, this is right on the plexi. The plexi is sitting on this. So I, I couldn't even modify it. I wasn't going to cut the plexi and all that. I didn't want to risk it. It is perfectly fine. It's not going anywhere. But that was like the only little downside that I noted. The other thing also, but I can't really blame it too much. Um, this side of the plexi on the top, I believe, um, it had like an edge. I had to basically take my uh, my mini saw and kind of just clean out the edge. But that's really the only two things that I noticed. These like, people doubt these, um, look, I can't even do it. <laughs> people doubt the, um, there we go. People have high doubts of like this, this little thing to hold down the control panel. This thing really locks down the control panel. Um, but this right here again is a Pandora's box build, clean wiring. I just made a video on how you could take any Pandora's box from like a control panel that you could buy on eBay and put it into an arcade cabinet. But again, easy peasy. We got the LED controller here, LED buttons per request. And uh, it's awesome. I got LED marquee. Again, obviously I do have my Z313 here. So speaker is here. I got the LED channel here. I did like it super clean this time. Like I actually notched out instead of making a hole, I did a nice clean notch with the, the mini saw. It's awesome. And again, you do have the riser. So at night or in the dark, it does look awesome. So turn off the garage lights. Okay. Again, one strip of LED. You got the back glow and I'm not even against the wall. It looks great. And again, with the LED strip underneath the control panel, it really glows. It's great. Again, LED buttons too. It looks awesome. The chrome uh, T molding is gonna definitely look cool once they take off the blue film. Even now the LEDs are bouncing off the chrome. It looks great. I mean, again, I am pretty pleased with the 27 inch Game Room Solutions cabinet. So now the one thing that I'm gonna send like to Ryan, cause they definitely have to note it, but the monitor screws that they sent, these are way too short. Like it's too short. I don't care what monitor you're using. Um, I'm using an Asus monitor it was not long enough to catch. Luckily I had like spare um, monitor screws. And as you can see though, the regular monitor screws were too long and I had to put like four washers just to hold this tight. Uh, again, I have to get this cabinet delivered so it's not worth me waiting, but I'll hit Home Depot. But their like monitor screw, it was just too short. It is garbage. Take a look at the rear of it now. Again, two doors, uh, awesome. Again, swing style. Well, a lot of people like to see the cleanliness. So again, plugs. We got the Z313 subwoofer, clean wiring as always. It's awesome. Again, riser, very big compared to like the mid-size Nintendo. It's huge. So I do have like this extra LED slack where basically they could drop this down to add a little more glow to the actual riser base. Um, again, my only complaint about this is the half inch. Um, I mean, I like my three quarter, but something about the half inch, it's a hit or miss on my end, but it works. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it, but again, micro center three quarter inch is just much heavier duty, no need for a riser. All right, so I'm gonna go up to it cause I'm pretty sure people wanted to see the height comparison on it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty solid height. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm what, 5'11", 6". Um, it's, it's a solid height. 
I'm not arching my back or anything. I could definitely enjoy a lot of arcade gaming, uh, a lot of some puzzle bobble for kicks, but there's definitely no arch in my back. I could definitely enjoy this. Oh. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> again, definitely with two people, definitely have a lot of room. And again, 27 inch screen, it's, it's just, a, it's a great screen. It's, it's a beautiful screen. Oh my goodness. There we go. Awesome, like I said, and it's not that bad of a height. I'll pull the micro center cabinet a little bit closer, but um, it's probably off by like, I don't know, six inches. It's really not that bad. Turn off the garage lights. Okay. I'm gonna get my Z303 volume here. Again, it's not too bad. I do, I, I definitely do like it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually take measurements for you guys. So you can see, like at least dimension wise. But I think this is a little bit wider. It feels a lot more roomier than the micro center cabinet. Just so you can see, like a side by side comparison. Again, it does need the riser. Um, without the riser, it is hella low. Same height as like an RK one up, but. Luckily, Gaming Solutions does give you the riser with it. Again, not too off on the on the height of it, but I'll quickly measure out the width of it. The overall width of this cabinet, you're looking around 26 and a half inches, let's call it there. Whereas the micro center cabinet is, wow, micro center cabinet is actually 27 and three quarter. It is an inch wider, but then maybe that's because of the T molding. But again, you do have this little edging here that blocks your um, hand, whereas this has like a clean straight edge. Um, again, not too bad. All right, so you guys have it. This is the 27 inch mid-size cabinet from Game Room Solutions going out to Sal over at Magic Moments. Sal, I hope you, your family, your daughter, I hope you guys enjoy the arcade cabinet. Overall, definitely would suggest this cabinet. Again, 27 inch midsize with a riser, Vic VP game case arcades. So now the one great thing about, again, with this cabinet, you do have the riser. This will go out to Sal really for a tutorial. Um, Sal, but I'm gonna put these nuts and bolts in. Uh, the cabinet is pretty heavy, but the nuts and bolts will secure the top piece to the riser. Um, so you could open up this bottom door panel I'll show you real quick. So it's gonna be closed, you just literally open it up. And there's gonna basically be four holes. One, two, on the right side of the speaker, three and four. So as you can see right now, we are lined up, the square lines up. You basically could put the screws down and then go from underneath the actual riser, put your hand under, and then you'll be able to tighten the bolt. That's really the only thing you have to do, bud. So it is two separate pieces. It'll definitely fit in, you know, an SUV. And uh, that's mostly it. All right, the tutorial for Sal now, buddy. This is gonna be much easier, um, user-friendly than the bar top that you have. All you gotta do is plug it in. Everything will boot up on its own. The screen will turn on, the lights will turn on. Everything will turn on, just let it load up. Again, you do have your volume rocker switch here on the right side is volume up and down. You also have a headphone jack and a main power. You'll see a little bit of a video. There's no audio to this video. So just let it go. And again, you know, give about a minute, it will boot up and such. Um, this really needs coins to work to move the screen. So you're gonna see once this comes up, you still have to give it about a minute to fully load up. Um, there's basically one game, which is Tekken, that's gonna load up, as you can see now. 
looks like we're ready to go we can't navigate right now until we put a coin in usually i do say wait until this video ends wait till it skips down and then you'll be able to make it work because if i press the coin button now as you can see it didn't register because it's still technically loading but it will eventually register it there we go yep see so i put in two credits now that there's coins you are able to navigate so you have your entire game list is here if you press player one start it'll jump to the search while you're in this tab you can go left and right there's a recent list and then a category list if you're in the actual list and you go left and right you'll see basically this is by category of the systems um, the main system really you want to kind of look for is the m and the f these are all your arcade so there is 179 pages worth of arcade stuff you could basically hold down you got a lot of your fighters in the beginning and then you have like you know your shoot 'em ups and stuff like that um once you're ready to pick a game button one it'll load it awesome and you could do either player one start you could also player two if you want and as you can see you're able to load up and you could play on now if you're done playing the game you hold down player one start you have two options you could insert more coins or exit the game which is button b insert was a so again i hold it down i'm going to press button b to exit and it brings us back so as you can see right now there's no credits in the machine i can't move the screen you have to put a coin in once you put a coin in now you're able to navigate um we could do real quick a let's just like a so a game boy game for example game boy is a console so it doesn't really take coins it actually has minutes as you can see there there's five minutes remaining so while you're playing this if you wanted to add more time you could insert coins you can see we have credits here but you have to hold down player one start and then you have to press a to add more time so player one start a as you can see i'm adding five minutes every time and then you could basically play on with your consoles this is metal slug for the game boy events very cool and when you're done hold down player one let's get some action real quick with this so again as you can see we are playing some game boy awesome when you're done hold down player one start and press b to exit once you're done playing with the entire system you just come over here and unplug it and it will power it down very easy VP Game Case Arcades, Sal, buddy, I hope you and your family enjoy your new machine.